Just got a load of elm wood chips. Uh, I, mean, I just mentioned in one of our other vlogs that Siberian elm is not an ideal hardwood species to cultivate mushrooms uh, with uh, because it's very sappy. Anytime you add water uh, to this wood chip, it likes to leach its sap right out of the wood and then the mycelium won't actually grow on that sap. And that can actually harbor bacteria. And in, in our case, we've been having water pool in our bags and we, uh, we get this kind of bacterial ooze that uh, won't go away and can encourage blotch. So part of that is because we were using elm uh, closer to the winter months in February. So we weren't able to get moisture content right because the, the wood chips were were a lot colder and in some cases actually freezing. So the water, the way the way we process our wood chips is we, we wet them and then pile it overnight with a tarp and then the excess water just kind of drains out of the pile. And in our case, uh, temperature would, would not allow the, the moisture content to be right because the water is not, not actually gonna leach out of uh, the pile of wood chips as fast as it normally would. And we're actually essentially soaking the elm and it's leaching sap out of the wood. So I don't really have a choice. I've had a wood chip shortage right now and we gotta take, with, take what we can get. But I do have a choice what I can grow on uh, this pile of wood. So I'm gonna focus on species that I know that don't get blotch or are not prone to blotch. And in, in our case, that would be the pearl oyster or our cold weather elm oyster, which we're going to start in production in a few weeks. So we're going to we're going to process these and I'm going to catch up with whatever spawn that I have on hand and in in some cases if this if we if we sterilize these bags and they they hang out in our lab for for a week we'll we'll seal them and if they hang out for a week while we catch up with uh, the appropriate spawn that we want to grow mushrooms in this wood type then so be it that's not a big deal but I'm more concerned about, I don't want to grow uh, blue oyster, gray oyster, or tree oyster, any of our cold weather species, because it just doesn't seem to do as well as I'd like with elm. So this pile, because it is, it is harboring moisture, is already heating up. I'll see if I can get uh, uh, a video stream of the steam coming out of the pile. So it's really important that I need to spread these wood chips out right now. It just got dumped a couple hours ago. I need to spread these chips out so that we can begin the drying process and then when we're ready we'll process them and turn these into mushroom blocks. This is probably the toughest job on the farm, but uh, you know I appreciate hard work, and it's uh, definitely nice to get this pile spread out because it is it is starting to heat up, and if I don't deal with this now, we're just going to have a big moldy mess really soon. So it'll probably take me another 40 minutes, maybe an hour. I'll get this pile spread out, and uh, we'll probably pick production up again on Monday. I think I'm going to need tomorrow off.
guys, we're almost there. about to start harvesting in greenhouse four right now. I need to pick about 40 or 50 pounds and then I have some some mushrooms already harvested and stored in the fridge. Eventually I want to design a harvest cart that's gonna slide down this aisle here and then I can put a scale on and you know pick our mushrooms and box up five or seven pound boxes right in the greenhouse and then put those in the fridge and label them for chefs as needed. Um, so I'm going to do that today. I'm just going to put put the mushrooms on a, on a bucket that's going to be elevated that I can put my basket on with, uh, with a scale. It's not going to be perfect, but when I have some time, I'm going to be developing a harvest cart. I just haven't done it yet. So it looks like I only have 40 pounds, but that's going to be enough to hit four restaurants down south. I'll just quickly show you how we box those up. So I like to do about five pound baskets. And, you know, this is such a great way to, to box them up for chefs. They store great in the fridge this way and the mushrooms get lots of aeration. So uh, I'm just going to give another shout out for uh, the last video that I just did. We, uh, we're doing a promotion on our channel for these uh, WTF what the fungus t-shirts and it's a 20-day campaign with uh, teespring i'll leave a link after this video for the for the promotional video that i did and uh, if you're interested uh, you have 20 days to purchase one of these t-shirts and really it's just a way for me to upgrade my youtube channel so that i can have better content for you guys i want to i want to start producing some really good stuff, really high quality uh, production on this farm and I want to start giving you guys more content and better videos. And this is a really fun way for me to kind of crowdfund some money so that I can get the equipment that I need. Alright, we'll talk to you guys soon.